Hello everybody! Thank you for pressing play on today's video. My name is Charlene Luciano and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! You guys, how cute is this little witch's hat? It is a little treat holder that holds some candy. You put your candy in there and you, when you're ready, you just seal it shut. How cute! So I'm going to show you how I made this. So for the the peak of the hat, I'm using the designer series paper, Merry Little Christmas. Um, so that's the designer series paper. I have my trimmer here, and the cardstock I have is cut at four inches by eight inches. All these measurements will be over on my website at www.stampwithshaw.com. With all the instructions so if you miss anything everything will be there so with the eight inches you are going to put it at the four inch mark take a pen and make a mark and you're going to go from that four inch mark To that corner and you're going to cut so you're going to trim that away and you're going to do the same this side too you're going to go from that four inch mark down to the corner now you probably would want to use a pencil that way you can erase anything so what you're going to be left with is a little triangle And you are going to twist it until you get that point at the top. Okay, so when you have it like this, the V. You're just going to roll the cardstock until you have that nice little pointed V. You're going to come in with some tear and tape. And you're going to put some tear and tape along here, like so. Again, just like so, you're going to take your paper snips, cut around it. You can more or less see where we're going with this. So you made yourself a nice little cone. I'm using the layering circles. And what I did was I cut out a circle. And I will give you the size of that circle in a minute. Um, so I cut, out, I cut out one of these circles. And now I have two pieces of basic black cardstock. And I have that circle and the next circle down. And again, I will tell you the sizes of the circles. I'll measure it with the ruler. And you are just going to run this through the big shot. I always like to run it through two or three times just to make sure I know that it's cut the cardstock because I am cutting a few pieces. Set that off to the side. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put this on top like so. We're going to cut off a little bit more. All 
right. So we're just going to keep trimming it down. And once we get it to where we need it to be, I'm just going to do it a little bit more. We're then going to take the paper snips and we're going to snip up like this. So we're going to snip up a little bit. You're going to go all the way around, just snipping up a little bit. If you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. If you click on the little bell below, that will let you that will notify you every time I do a new video. All right. So, we're going to take some multi-purpose liquid glue. I got my bone folder. And I'm just going to press this in there. And again, all this cardstock I'm going to cut away. So if there's any cardstock hanging over, like here, I am just going to snip it away and you won't even see it. I'm now going to take this ring and put it on top like so. And what I did, I took, I have some clothes pins and I just went around the hat using my clothes pins just making sure that it's going to stick in place. Isn't that cute? I love it. So while that's busy drying, I have mounted Trick or Treat from the Seasonal Chums, the Trick or Treat. And I have a scrap piece of cardstock. I'm using some pumpkin pie. Trick or treat. I'm just going to cut this off. Maybe I'll even flag it. On one side. Yeah. Yeah. I have some mini Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'm just going to stick two of those. Now you don't even have to stick a tag if you don't want to. I just thought why not. Um, back of the hat so we're just gonna stick that like so yeah I don't know if I like it, it kind of looks dorkish so I'm gonna take it off because I will use that on a card I like it just plain so I have um, this circle and this circle is I want to say like one and three eighths. No, sorry, two and three eighths. So this is a two and three eighths circle. I'm going to bring in my scoreboard and I'm just going to score it at the quarter inch. Like so. Yeah. 
I'm going to stick some glue over here. Now I went to the grocery store today and truly I forgot to buy candy. And I don't know if it's because I have a mental block because my son, the minute he sees me buying candy, he wants to eat everything that I buy in one sitting. Like he cannot keep anything for the another day. And again, I'm just going to stick two clothespins right on there. Wait for that to dry. And there you have your cute little candy holder. You can put that at your table. You can give it out at the door. Like I said, I don't get many trick-or-treaters, so this is perfect. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much for stopping by, you guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.